Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to calculate a very interesting sum. It's the sum of cosine k alpha over cosine alpha to the k. We will use some properties of complex numbers. Uh, you can of course do the exercise yourself and tell me if you find the same result as me. Uh, you can uh, watch the video till the end and compare with your own result. Please subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed. Don't hesitate to comment, to like, to share. And if you want private tutorial lessons, I give uh, lessons online in both languages, in French and English. So you can find my contact in the description of this video. So the sum we have to calculate here is the following. It's the sum from k0 up to n of cosine k alpha over cos alpha to the k. Uh, we consider, of course, that cosine alpha is non-zero. So the first thing here we notice is that we have on the top cos cosine k alpha. Um, so we will consider two sums, the other sum, s k from 0 up to n sine k alpha over cosine alpha to the k. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate c plus i s. Because here we have, we know that cosine alpha or cosine x or theta plus i sine theta is equal to e to the i theta. This is the main formula you have to know here from the complex numbers. So, if we consider c plus i s. We can calculate this sum from 0 up to n cosine k alpha over cosine alpha to the k plus sigma k from 0 up to n. Of course, don't, don't, don't forget i. sine k alpha over cosine alpha to the k. And here we can calculate just one sum because we notice that we have the same denominator. So cos alpha to the k here and here on the top we will have cos k alpha plus i sine k alpha and here this sum is exactly e to the i k alpha over cosine alpha to the k. A very interesting expression. We notice that we have both on the top and below k. So this sum is equivalent, is equal to e to i alpha over cosine alpha to the k. Very interesting. So here we notice that this expression is the sum of a geometric series. Remember that when you have a geometric series, for example, a1 plus a plus a squared plus a to the th 3 up to a to the n, equals to 1 minus a to the 
n plus 1 because we have n plus 1 terms of this sum over 1 minus a, okay? If we had, if the first term was a, we would take a, the first term of the sum, times 1 minus a over n, because here we have n terms over 1 minus a. A, min, uh, a times 1 minus a to the n over 1 minus a. But here in our example, the first term is 0. So we, we're going we're gonna to use the first expression. Okay, so it's a sum of geometric series, and our a here is e to the i alpha over cosine a. So our sum c plus i s equals to 1 minus e to the i alpha over cosine alpha to the n plus 1 over 1 minus e to i alpha over cosine alpha. Okay? Perfect. Okay, so now, in order to find our c, we have to find the real part of this complex expression. So let's simplify. On the top, we are going to find 1 minus e to i n plus 1 alpha over cosine alpha to the n plus 1. Don't forget that e to the i theta to the n equals to i to e um, to i n theta, okay? So we applied this rule here and below we will we'll do the same here. Not the same, but we can also simplify e to the i alpha replacing it by cosine alpha plus i sinus alpha over cosine alpha. Let's continue simplifying this expression. So here we have on the top 1 minus cosine n plus 1 alpha plus i sinus n plus 1 alpha over cosine alpha to the n plus 1 and here in the below we have we can already separate this uh, this expression don't forget don't forget a plus b on over c a over c plus b over c okay so that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do here so we're going to separate cosine alpha over cosine alpha, it's going to be 1 here, okay, plus i sinus alpha over cosine alpha. Here we can replace this one by tan alpha, but it's not very important now. Let's simplify, we have 1 minus 1. So, okay, um, uh, we can uh, times on the top by cosine alpha to the n plus 1 and below also. So if t we times by cosine alpha to the n plus 1 on the top, we will get cosine alpha to the n plus 1 minus cosine 
um, n plus 1 alpha minus i sinus n plus 1 alpha and here we have i sinus alpha over cosine alpha. Okay, very interesting expression. We are looking for our C. C here are the real parts of this complex expression. So the real part is here because we have I here on the top and I below we can simplify. So our C, our C expression here is going to be is going to be the following um, so minus i sinus n plus 1 alpha over i sinus alpha over cosine alpha oh don't forget we have to times also here by cosine n plus uh, cosine alpha n plus 1, yes. Cosine alpha to, to the n plus 1. Don't forget it. Cosine alpha to n plus 1. Okay, so we can simplify by i here and we can just write it. Um, oh, guys, there's a small error I just noticed here. Um, here I had minus cosine alpha plus i sinus alpha. So when we distribute minus here, we will have uh, minus plus, so minus, al minus i. So here we have below minus i. So there's a, yeah, minus, minus. And here the result, the final result is going to be 1 over cosine n, uh, cosine alpha to the n times sinus n plus 1 alpha over sinus alpha. I hope you found the same thing as I found. Don't hesitate to tell me on the comments. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It's really important for this channel to get more and more visibility. Um, and see you in the next video.